Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining us for our live webinar on step-by-step -step guide to trading Forex. I am Eddie Ng, your presenter for today. We will be starting the session proper at about 7.02 p.m. Meanwhile, let's give some time for our friends to join us. Enjoy your dinner and we'll speak to you real soon. Thank you for joining us for our live webinar on step-by-step -step guide to trading Forex. This is Eddie Ng. I am a senior account executive with Philip Futures. In today's webinar, we will be discussing basics of Forex and how you could trade, start trading Forex. Before we begin, I would like to do a sound check. If you can hear me loud and clear, just type yes into the question box. Also, during the webinar, if you have any questions, do type them into the question box and I will address them during the Q&A session at the end of the webinar. Okay, great. It looks like everyone can hear me clearly. So let's begin tonight's webinar. Okay, uh, as mentioned, I'm my name is Eddie Ng, Senior Account Executive with Philip Futures. And uh, this is my email address. If you have anything, you can actually contact me directly. Okay, this is a disclaimer. So everything I go through the, today will be for educational purpose only. There will not be any recommendations given. The outline for today's webinar will be what is Forex key features of Forex, order types, and some fundamental and technical analysis. Okay, so what is Forex? Forex is an agreement where you entered into to buy one currency with another by selling at an agreed rate. So take for example, Party A is buying Euro USD, Party B will be selling Euro USD. Okay, what it means is that Party A is uh, giving USD to Party B and, and Party A will be receiving Euro. Okay, so the net effect will be Party A is actually buying Euro, selling USD. Okay, and Party B is selling Euro, buying USD. Okay, so basically, this is Forex where there's a transaction of um, foreign foreign currency, two two different foreign currency taking place. Okay, so but for spot Forex when you're trading, there's no actual transaction of the currency do, taking place. What we get is the net difference between the buying and the selling price. Okay, Forex is actually traded 24 hours, five days a week. Okay, it actually starts at 5 a.m. in the morning, well, on the Monday morning, and it, it closes at Saturday, a, Saturday 5 a.m. Uh, uh, in the morning, okay, Singapore time. So it actually starts with Sydney, Tokyo, and followed by Singapore, and it ends with New York. Okay, so some technical jargons to take note of. If you're holding on to a buy position, it actually means you have a long position. And for a sell position, we call it a short position. 
Okay. So for Forex, an advantage is that you can take advantage of the uptrend movement of a market and the downtrend movement of a market because you are able to hold on to a short position or a buy position at the same time. Okay, which means that you can actually sell the market. You can sell sell a particular currency pair first and buy it back. Okay, so uh, I'm this is two forex pair that I'm showing. Okay, so to understand the first pair, pound USD. Okay, most pair is uh is similar to pound USD. It has up. It goes up to the fourth decimal place. Okay, so when it's quoted as 1.4109, it actually means that one pound is equal to 1.4109 USD. If as for dollar JPY, 109.21, it means that one USD equal to 109.21 JPY. Okay, so the first currency pair, as you can see, for in this case is pound and in, in the case of pound USD, it will be pound GBP. In the case of dollar JPY, it will be USD. They are called the base currency. Okay. And then the second currency is the counter currency, which your profit and loss will be calculated in. Okay. So when you trade, you won't trade pound USD, your profit and loss will be in USD. Okay, when as earlier on I mentioned, when you buy pound USD, it means that you are buying pound and selling USD. Okay, at the same time, when you are selling pound USD, it means that you are selling pound and buy USD. So one thing to take note: you are buying when you are buying or selling a particularly particularly a particular currency pair, it is always the first currency pair. So you can see for sell pound USD, you are selling pound, then the other currency pair will be buying USD. Okay, so let's take a look at dollar yen. Okay, so this pair ends, is this pair, the second pair is actually JPY. Okay, just to take note of pairs that end with JPY and pairs don't end with JPY. I will, you will notice that the difference is that for pairs end with JPY, it's go, it goes up to the second decimal place. Okay, so every one pip movement, like 20 go to 21, we call, call it one pip movement, PIP. Okay, PIP is called percentage in point. And for other pairs that is not paired with JPY, it goes out to the fourth decimal place. The one peak movement is the fourth decimal place. In this example, you can see it's actually from uh, 4108 to 4109. So it's actually one peak movement. And next, I will actually go through on what is the value of one peak movement when you trade Forex. Okay, so for Spot Forex on our platform, which is a MetaTrader 5 platform, we go by lot size. Okay, so one lot, we, uh, the smallest lot uh, size is 0 0.01, we call it a micro lot. You can trade in multiples of, of the micro lot. Okay, so one peak movement, uh, you can see the 0 0.001 or 0 0.01 for JPY pass. For a micro lot, it will be 10, uh, approximately 10 cents, move, 10 cents movement. Okay, and the contract value of the currency pair that you are trading for a micro lot is 1,000. Okay, but you you would not need to come, you not need to fund in $1,000 to trade a micro lot. Instead, you only, only need 5% of the contract value, which is $50. Okay, in this, so, uh, for fifty dollars, every one pip movement, you can actually gain. You can actually gain a ten cents. It's a ten cents movement to you. Okay, on top of spot forex, right? There is also another, uh, another contract which we do. Uh, precious metal, we call it. Okay, is spot gold. 
Okay, I will not touch on spot silver, I only touch on spot gold. Okay, so gold is a safe haven currency. So for gold, we can actually take note that the smaller size is 0 0.01 lot, which is one tri ounce. Okay, the the margin for gold is actually 20% of contract value, and if for a micro lot, every 0 0.01 or every one cent movement in gold will be once what for it will be what will be one cent in your PNL. Okay, any one cent in gold prices movements. Okay, the contract size of the gold contract of a 0 0.01 is one tri ounce. Okay, so what is one tri ounce? It's actually 31.1035 grams. Okay, so just take note, it's actually different from ounce. Okay, ounce is actually 28.3495 gram. Okay, so earlier on, I actually, we actually emphasized, I actually talk about margin. So next, I will actually explain what is actually margin. Okay, so margin is actually a deposit. Okay, it's a good fit deposit. So for example, if I want to buy 0 0.1 lot of USD JPY, okay, so 0 0.1 lot, as said earlier, is actually a contract value of $10,000. Instead of coming up front of $10,000 of the full capital, I will only need to have a, a portion of the full, con full contract value, which is 5%, to be able to buy 0 0.1 lot of USD JPY. Okay, so in this case, my account need to have $500 to be able to buy one lot of, uh, 0 0.1 lot of USD JPY. Okay, we call it dollar yen in short. Okay, so how does margin work? So for example, if my account, I have deposited $500. Okay, so account, what does account equity means is that it's actually your, uh, it's your account balance. Okay, which is the net amount that you have in your account. Okay, and I, I execute a 0.1 lot of buy position of dollar yen at 108.00. Okay, so because my account has sufficient equity, sufficient margin requirement, which is the, which, which the margin is actually $500, I will be able to execute this lot. So I will have a position of 0.1 at $500, at 0 0.1 lot of dollar JPY at 108. Okay, oh, over time, if the, over time, if the prices move, what will happen is that your account equity will actually fluctuate accordingly until you close your position. Okay, so in this case, if it dropped by 0 0.01, which is one peak movement, 107.99, Okay, so the account equity you will see that it dropped by four hundred, dropped by one dollar, which is four hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, so just take note that in this case it's a zero point one lot, so every one pip movement it will be approximately one dollar. Okay, and when it goes up to five hundred, when it goes up to hundred and eight point zero one, the account will be up by one dollar. In the next scenario, if I decided to sell and close this position, what happens is that the margin will be reinstated back and my account equity will actually have $502. That will be the net amount that I will have. Okay, so just to take note, MT5 platform, Philip MT5 platform is a zero commission based platform. So whenever when you close your position, the amount you see in the account equity or your account balance is your net amount that you have already. Okay, there's no commission being charged on Philip MT5 platform. Okay, next, there's another key feature of Spot Forex to take note of that this is called swap points. It is very insignificant as compared to the number of, compared to the movement of the currency fluctuation itself. Okay, nevertheless, I need to, you need to understand why swap points. Basically, it is the difference in interest rates between currencies. Okay, earlier on, I did talk about dollar JPY. So dollar is a dollar JPY. If you hold overnight, there will also be swap points. Euro USD, you hold overnight, there will be swap points. It's the difference between euro interest rate between USD interest rate, and for dollar JPY will be USD and JPY interest rate. 
Okay, so as you can see the on, on the red box, uh, the circuit red box, dollar um that is a fractional pip, okay, which is less than a pip. So uh swap points is usually less than a pip movement for, for uh, overnight positions. So for overnight position, what I mean is that if you hold a position past 5 a.m. on that day itself. So for example, if I buy a, I buy a position today and I hold it past 5 a.m. or I buy it tomorrow, I buy it tomorrow morning at 4 a.m. and I hold it past 5 a.m. Swap points will be factored in and calculated. Okay, so if you do it between 5 a.m. to 4.49 a.m., if you did your trade between this period of time, Singapore time, there will not if, and you open and close you close your position open your position and close your position within this time frame there will not be swap points incurred okay so swap points is not definitely that you need to pay sometimes you will receive okay i will give you an example okay for example usd interest rate of the central bank is 0 0.25 percent japanese yen interest rate is negative 0 0.01 percent okay and i were to buy dollar jpy Okay, which means that I'm buying USD, selling JPY. So I will actually receive 0 0.2 for overnight, for holding it overnight. Okay, for holding overnight position, I will actually receive 0.25% on the USD. But because I sell USD JPY, I sell, J, I, I sell JPY, I need to actually give negative 0.1%. Net off, I will gain swap points. So let's take the other scenario. If I were to sell USD JPY, it means I'm selling USD, buying JPY. So I will actually need to pay USD, USD interest rate and receive, uh, JP, receive interest rate for JPY. So net off, I will actually lose swap point. Okay, so swap points, the basic concept of swap points is the overnight holding, holding, uh, it's an overnight holding cost of the currency position. So at, uh, depending on the currency strength, or, or rather the interest rates, then we will, it will determine whether you will gain swap points or you will lose swap points. And swap points differ daily, and it's actually determined by the interbank risks. Okay, so calculating of profit and loss. Okay, so basically we know that uh, selling price minus buying price, the difference will be your profit and loss. So in this case earlier on, I I have showed that for a mini contract of 0 0.1, one peak movement is $1. Okay, so if I buy 0 0.1 lot at 1.2200, and I sell a 0 0.1 lot of Euro USD, okay, Euro dollar at, at uh, 2220. Okay, so to calculate the profit and loss, you can actually just take 20 minus 00, zero it will be 20 pips. 20 pips means it is $20, okay? One pip is $1 for a 0 0.1 lot contract. Okay, so this is just for you to understand. You don't need to know, don't really need to know how to do the calculation because the platform itself is will actually auto calculate the PNL and reflect it on the plat on on its on the platform itself. Okay, so earlier on we I speak about margin. So margin is a good faith deposit. Okay, so with well, the difference with using margin and not using margin. Okay, so for example, if you want to buy a, a let's take earlier example, a, a Euro USD contract, your margin requirement in this case is actually 500 USD, or rather approximately 500. Yeah, so it's five percent. So it's for approximately five hundred. So if you make use of the leverage and you only have come up with a capital lay of five hundred, which usually I will
average. Okay, sorry, I think the connection has a problem. Okay, just to take note, the gain has... Okay, so uh, making use of leverage, right? The, the percentage gain and the percentage loss is is, a, is actually uh, the same. It actually amplifies the gain and the loss in terms of percentage turn. Okay, so it can be a 4% returns or negative 4% depending on the capital. Okay, these are commonly used order types. Exchange execution on the platform. Okay, when you enter an exchange execution order, it's actually to buy or sell at the you to buy at or buy or sell at a specified price or better okay so for i give an example for limit order so for limit order if you want to buy lower than market price if you want to buy lower than market price you will need to use a limit order if you want to sell higher than market price you will use a limit order also. Okay, so limit order will place your order in queue. When the market hits your price, your order will be done. Okay, stop order works differently from the limit order. So for so stop order, okay, if, if you want to, if you place a buy stop order, it has to be higher than the current market price. Okay, which means that when the market price rise up to a certain level, it will actually execute the stop order. Okay, so for MT5 platform itself, we have the stop loss. Stop order usually is used for stop loss or stop loss. On MT5 platform itself, the stop loss order is already embedded in the order ticket itself. So, so you don't need to actually place a separate stop order at, to act as a stop loss order. Okay, so your so in this case, you, when you are using Philip MT5 for stop order, it will actually help you to execute a trade instead. Or how you help you to open a new position. Okay, so for if you say a sell stop order, you have to for a sell stop order to work, you need to actually place it below the market price. So when the market drops to your specific price, it will trigger the sell stop order. Okay, on top of order types, there's also order validity. Okay, by default, most order will be GTC, which is good tier cancel. Order will be there permanently until you cancel it. Okay, so always remember when you place a GTC order, yeah, just take note that when you don't want the order, you need to cancel it. If not, the order will be there. Okay, if there will be there can be situation where you place a GTC order and you've forgotten about it. A few months later, you realize that your, an order was triggered. That's because you didn't cancel a GTC order that you placed before. Okay, so on the platform, you can actually see that if see check for your pending orders also. There's also another order called the good tier date order. Okay, so good tier date order allows you to select a specific date where your order will expire. Okay, so the order will be there until when it reaches that day, it will expire on the day. And for day order, it, the order is only valid for the day. What it means is that as of market close, which is 4.59 a.m. Singapore time, your order will expire. Okay, if the order is not done, it will expire. If order is done during that period, then uh, the, the order will be considered done. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the currency pass now. Okay, so for for the major currency pass, okay, we usually have the Aussie USD, Euro Dollar, Euro JPY, Pound Dollar, Pound JPY, Dollar JPY, Dollar CAD, and that's the last one is okay, the safe haven currency. So take note. PY is even currency. Uh, what? When is a safe? Just like gold. 
Okay, so for Euro Yen, Pound Yen, Dollar Yen, it the minimum tick value or the PIP itself goes to the second decimal place. The rest of the currencies goes to the fourth decimal place. Okay, and for gold is the second decimal place. Okay, so the advantages of forex trading is actually 24 hours market except for weekends. Okay, and you have ample liquidity in the market. Okay, and of course you can actually have a long or short position which allows you to take advantage of different market directions. And another advantage is the leverage, which means that you don't need to have the full capital in the account to be able to trade uh, the Forex movement. So for example, for a 0 0.1 lot, the margin, the margin requirement is $500, where the contract size is actually 10,000. Okay, so, but then the fluctu tick fluctuation is for every one, peak movement is only one dollar so you don't need to have ten thousand you don't need to have ten thousand dollars in your account to trade for every one peak movement or every one dollar movement of the currency pair instead five hundred dollars will allow you to actually trade buy and sell and you can actually trade from the every one dollar value that to earn from there okay so it actually allows you to to use a smaller capital to to trade the market instead of the full full contract value okay as i mentioned earlier okay safe haven currency we have gold and japanese yen okay so this is a gold chart okay it's a gold usd chart you can see gold prices has has recently actually went up to about 2000 level okay so so for gold uh, as we are in the COVID right pandemic, so any uncertainty may cause gold prices to go up. Okay, as of now, we actually have very high. We are experiencing sort of a higher inflation. So as interest rate has not increased, so gold prices actually is going towards the upside because of inflation fears. Okay, so factors that actually affect forex movement. One factor is actually the interest rate. Okay, so which means that the central bank interest rate, okay, it will actually affect forex. Okay, so let me give you an example from here, an illustration. So for example, where country A actually increase interest rate. Okay, for for their central bank actually increase increase interest rate, which means that the deposit rates in the country is also higher. What will happen is that hot money or we call it hot funds from other countries will be will be flowing into country A, which results in a demand for the currency, which in turn increase the strength of the currency. Okay, so this is which where you will see that for example, if US increase interest rate, you will see that USD JPY will actually go higher. Okay, because USD provides better, uh, int better returns. Okay, but take note, interest rate is only one factor. There are other factors that is also like the economy of the country itself. Okay, so upcoming interest rate announcement that we have. Okay, uh, later on, this uh, midnight, 2 a.m., we have a US FOMC release okay, at 2 a.m. Singapore time. Okay, then the, for, the next one will be European Central Bank. Okay, the FOMC is actually the Central Bank of US. Uh. Okay, so the next one on 22nd of July, we have the European Central Bank. Okay, so it's uh, always usually in the late in the evening for European Central Bank and then the UK is also the same also in the evening. Okay, only for US, US the FOMC usually is at 2 a.m. at night, at uh, midnight, okay, or early in the morning. Okay, so 
uh, this is one that uh, the market will be looking towards. And when this figure is announced, usually you will see pairs for US FOMC, you will see pairs that is related to, that is paired with US, USD will actually have some movement. Okay, when uh, they have announced their interest rate decision or their interest rate policy or monetary policy. In the next one that we have is actually the employment rates. Okay. Okay, here we here you can see there's uh, employment rates. We don't really look at all countries. The star or the main employment rates that we we'll always look out for is US Nam Farm payroll. Okay, the next one is on 2nd of July, 8.30 p.m. Singapore time. Okay, US Nam Farm payroll is happens every first Friday of the month. Okay. What it means by Nam Farm payroll, it means that uh, prof professionals, in excluding farmers, okay, the employment rate. So if the if the employment if the Nam Farm payroll figure, Sorry, I have some technical issues. Yep, okay, I have connection back again. Sorry, yeah. Okay, my apologies. Okay, GDP tells you more about the economy. Uh, the economy... Where For consumer price index, if it, consumer price index is high, it means that there we are facing higher inflation. Goods prices are higher. Okay, this will also affect the forest movement because when consumer price, price index is high, the central bank will need to increase interest rates to curb inflation. Okay, so now US CPI is high. We are actually at a very high inflation for US, and people are expecting that FOMC will do something or maybe they may increase interest rate near may pull, may bring interest rate increment to the nearer term. Okay, so if interest rate, had, if they decided to increase interest rate within this year or the next or, or next year, then we will see that the stock market itself will actually slightly weaken because cost of borrowing becomes higher. Okay, I will go to a basic, now we'll go to some basic technical analysis. Okay, this is support and resistance line. Okay, so resistance is the number, is uh, the number of points at the top. Okay, that, and then we draw a horizontal line across. Support goes, is the one at the bottom. Okay, so we call it the support resistance line is the level where the price reaches but could not break through. Okay, I will show you an example of a support resistance. So over here you can actually see okay, the support and resistance line. Okay, so with these lines we have to actually draw ourselves. The platform itself has provide you with the tools to draw all these lines. Okay, so these are the levels where you can determine the determine or plan your strategy or your trades to actually capture the breakout movement of the market. Okay, 
Okay, we also have the formations. Okay, so we have the double top, the head and shoulders. These are all reversal signals. Okay, so here we have three tops. Uh. Okay. So for this, we have a triple top. Okay, you can see the one that I've circled. Okay, so for this, in this case, right, it actually shows that the market has actually tried to break higher, but it couldn't. It has actually been ranging between the range. Okay, so when to for when to actually capture the to capture the downside where the market actually started to drop. Okay, so if you want to capture this kind of range, right, you can actually what you can do is not to sell at this point, rather to sell after it has broken the support level. Okay, so you only place you only do a sell only do a sell after it has broken the support level. Okay, because why the market could actually continue to go sideways, and it actually it can actually break the resistance and go even higher. So you don't sell at the support level. Instead, you sell after it has broken the support level. Okay, so okay, this is um, some risk management to take note of. Okay, so we need to actually study the market that we are doing. Okay, and uh, we one thing to take note. Uh, don't add to a losing position by averaging. Okay, why? Because uh, for forex market is a uh, you can actually long or you can do a long position or a short position. Okay, so for forex market, if you are in a losing position, you will actually need to have a stop loss in place to cut your position. You can actually follow the other side of position. So if you are buying and the market goes downtrend, instead of buying more, you can actually cut the position, actually sell it. Okay, to follow the downtrend mo momentum. And next, you need to have a stop loss. To uh, it's advisable to have a stop loss order for every trade that you have. Okay, so usually when there's uncertainty, we will stay out of the market. If you are very uncertain, if not, if you find opportunity, you can actually enter the market. Okay, so risk risk management is very important. So stop loss will help you to control your your losses. Okay, so uh, whereas we usually we will not put a take profit order, we will not limit the profit. Whereas we will not limit the profit, but we will actually limit the losses by having a stop loss. Okay, uh, next I will show you an example of our MT5 platform. Okay, so this is. This is our MT5 desktop version. Okay, MT5 actually has a mobile app version also. Okay, it's available both on Apple or Windows also. Okay, so you can have the Windows version, you have the uh, Mac iOS version, and we also have the mobile app version. Okay, mobile app version, Android iOS will have will, is available too. Okay, on the left side, what we can see is uh, the watch list of the currency pairs. Okay, you can actually add more watch lists here, or you can go to symbols. Okay, so on symbols, right, you will actually be able to see all the currency pairs available. And then you can double click to add it to your watch list. Okay, right click, select chart window. Okay, right click, select chart window will actually brings you a new chart. So you can see here at the bottom, I have many charts so that is open. Okay, for, for this chart is a Euro USD chart. Okay, how you want to actually you draw the support and resistance line earlier? Uh, follow my arrow at the top right hand corner. You can see this horizontal line. Okay, so by clicking on this horizontal line, you can actually place the horizontal line here. Okay, so let me change the color of the horizontal line. Okay, so I can actually change the color okay, of the horizontal line and then I can drag it around. Okay, so on top of the horizontal line, there's also the trend line. Okay, so for example, for now, if I'm going to draw a trend line,
Okay, I'm going to draw a trend line. I can see that for Euro USD, there's actually a trend forming. Okay, then after which we can actually plan the strategy on how to enter the market or whether we want to sell or buy the market. Okay, so for example, if let's say here, I want to sell, I want to take a position that if the market happened to break the trend line and drop even further, Okay, so for example, like here, when you go up and drop even further, I want to capture this type of movement. Over here, I can right click. I can go to trading. I can place a sell stop order. Okay, if not, I can go to new order. A ticket will, a order ticket will appear. So take note, every order ticket, this is the contract size that you want to enter into. This is the stop loss, which is the amount that you want to uh, you want you want the when your position is done the when if the market hit is not in your favor you want to close your position so this is stop loss that you can set okay so in this case if I want to sell at this level I will need to place a pending order select sell stop okay so let's take 1.2 one okay so we select the price 1.2 Okay, at the at the stop loss, so at the stop loss stop loss level, uh, if I want to place, uh, you so for example for stop loss you want to place it above here because when it hits lower, and it rebound above this line, touch this line, but it can go for even lower. So you can place above. Let's put put it at current market price of one point two one one seven. Okay, after which I can actually place the order. You can see sell stop position is here. And then the stop loss is here. Okay, so we wait for the order to be done. Okay, so at the same time, if you want to change your, your line, you can actually move it lower. Then you click modify. Okay, you can modify your, your orders on the chart itself. Okay, this is how good MT5 is. And over here at the bottom, you can see on Euro USD, you have a sell stop order. This is your pending order and your stop loss. Okay, so if you want to cancel this order, you can actually click modify or delete and click select delete order. Okay, so any order below this, uh, your this uh account summary is pending order. And the one with that you see dollar JPY, anything above this account, dollar JPY is an open order. Let's see. Okay, so okay. At the corner here you can see that's actually your profit. Okay, four two nine four two five nine is not the exact amount. Huh? It's not the cash value, it's actually the number of pips or points as we call it in MT5. Okay, so you can actually set that you want to see your profit as money or as points. Okay, then this will be your PL, your profit and loss. Okay, then if you want to add indicators, you can select insert indicators. Over here, there is many indicators you can that you can choose from use, using MT5. Okay. And one thing that we Philip actually provide is that we also have auto charties. It is a third party application that actually helps you to identify trends of movement of the market and it will alert you. Okay, so you can see over here I have actually auto charties. So what I want I, what I can do is actually drag auto charties here and it will actually start running. It will actually show you what movement and what and the next thing is you can share filter what you want to see. Okay, it will help you to identify the movement. So over here you see it actually identify a triangle and then the forecasted movement that they expect from the market itself. Okay, this is provided free. Okay, for live account it will be it is uh, it will be live. Well, okay, demo account you will also be able to access auto charties, but the data will be delayed. Uh, Okay, the prices are live, but the auto charties alerts is actually delayed.
Yeah, so this is more or less what we have on MT5, okay, with a lot of other features. Okay, just take note, uh, okay, this, will, this button here at the top middle will bring you to the end of the bar. The other one actually created the space, which is here, this space here. Okay, so it's up to you to set your own settings and uh, place your own templates. Okay, so this is uh, my email address again. Okay, if you want, you can take a screenshot of it. Okay, before I go to the next slide. Okay, so my services to you. Okay, so if you open an account with me, okay, I'm a dual license holder. Okay, so basically I can do, I deal with securities and also futures and forex. Okay, so stock license and futures and forex license. Okay, we also provide a one-to-one -one coaching. Okay, now we are, we are having pandemic. So for one-to-one -one coaching, we will conduct it through Zoom. Okay, and we also have a 24 hours services of dealing desk, which means that in any situation where your MT5 platform has an issue, let's say that the server is down or uh, maybe there's a there's a outage on the Wi-Fi or the telco provider, you can actually call in to our dealing desk. Okay, the dealing desk, as long as market is open, dealing desk will be there. Okay, so some public holidays where market is also open, dealing desk is also there for you. You can call them or you can contact me and we can actually assist you to actually close or open your positions. Or rather, we assist you to close your positions only in situations like that. Okay, on top of that, we have daily trading reports and we and also um, on a on a on and off basis, I do send WhatsApp broadcasts to all the clients. Okay, to all my clients. Okay. Uh, okay. The MT five demo is free. Okay, you can actually just register for it. So please feel free to actually uh scan the QR code if you want to uh, register for a demo account or you can use the link. Okay, I have put the URL there, the short, uh, shorter version of the URL there for you to register for your MT5 demo platform. Okay, so uh, do register for MT5 demo platform so you can play around with the platform. Okay, they will give you $100,000 of virtual money for you to try out. Okay, prices on the MT5 demo platform is live, live prices also. Okay, just that it's virtual money. Okay, it's not real money. Okay, if you like to open an account, okay, you can actually use the other QR code to open an account. Okay, so to op uh, requirements to open an account, uh, you need to be at least 21 years old. Okay, there's no minimum deposit for opening an account with us. Okay, and we don't have a maintenance fee for opening account. Okay, so if you open an account and the account has no funds, okay, or you will put in funds, right? but didn't use, there will not be any maintenance fee charges to it. Okay, do, okay, I'll go to the next slide. Okay, do also take note of our upcoming webinars, which I showed earlier on the, on the starting of the, of the presentation of this webinar. Okay, we have upcoming webinars that is coming also. Okay. And I will be coming to an end of this webinar soon. So if do you all have any questions that you have, okay, if uh if your questions is actually uh more is not general, then maybe what I'll do is that uh in the coming days I will do uh you can type your questions in if not if it's um not general it's it's not a general question, so I will actually uh, we can actually I can actually contact you in the coming days and then we can, uh, can answer all your queries also. Okay, for Forex and trading indices, I have a question of, can you show the fees for Forex and trading indices like Simski and ETF? 
okay on mt5 platform okay uh we have mt5 platform itself only have index cfds okay so for simski uh, for the sdi etf that we have on the mt5 platform is zero commission that uh, for the sdi index then whereas for the etfs on etf cfds on mt5 platform is also zero commission so when you open close your position right everything will be in already net ready there's no brokerage fees involved if you are talking about simski index futures on as trading on sgx exchange itself then that one will not be on mt5 platform it will be on our philip nova platform Okay, for that, there is brokerage fees. Okay. Okay, so today I'll only be showing on the MT5 platform. And if you're interested to know more about Philip Nova platform, do let me know also. I will follow up with you with on that. Okay, so for MT5, can it be used for other instruments? Um, okay, MT5. We on MT5. What we have is actually we have many forex, shares, CFDs, and also uh, of different country, countries. So let me go to the next slide. Okay, so you can see that you, we are able to trade US shares, CFD on our MT5 platform. Then there's also SGX shares also. Okay, so uh, yes, there are other instruments. There's also indices and ETF on the MT5 platform. Okay, just take note they are CFDs. Okay. okay, let me check on the other questions. Okay, I have a question on swap points alone. Okay, so I believe your question is whether you can whether you can make a profit just from swap points alone? Yes and no. Okay, so for so earlier on my example of dollar JPY, right? If you are you for holding overnight position, you may gain or lose swap points. Okay, depending on the interest rate factor of the two currency pair. But you need to take note if you can gain swap points overnight. The movement of the currency pair itself of the currency pair itself is actually more than the swap points. So gaining swap points net off, you may not have a profit at the end because you may lose on the in currency fluctuation itself. Okay, so if you're holding for a position of three weeks. Okay, the swap points is actually factored in on a daily basis. So when you look at the when you look at the MT5 platform itself, you can see that this is a swap point. Okay, it's actually added in on a daily basis, and then it will add it will add on to, it's actually factored into your PL already. Okay, so when you close your position, so for this case, if you have closed my position, this is the net amount I have. And just take note, this is a buy dollar yen position, which I placed very, very long ago, 2018. Okay, so it actually has been accumulating sort points for a very long time. Okay, so yes, you will actually receive your sort points. You will realize your PL and sort points when you close your position. What are the what are the different scenarios where the different order types be used? Okay, so I will take this for example. So we will actually look at the strategy that we have. Okay, uh, earlier on I talked about buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. For buy limit order, okay, if I expect that it's a ranging market, and I think that the market is continuing to go sideways up and down within this range. 
Okay, so let me just put. Okay, let's assume that market is ranging within this range. And I expect the market to be ranging up and down. At this point of time, I can actually place a buy limit order. Okay, if I expect the market is moving within the range or a sell limit order at the top. So every time I hit the top, I will trigger a sell order. <coughs> a sell order, sorry. Okay, so I will actually trigger a sell order. Okay, and also um, if you are expecting a breakout like this, you can actually place a buy stop order above the line. Okay, so for here, let's say that earlier on I show a sell stop order here. If I expect the market after this point, it will go up to this level or even higher. I can actually place a buy stop order. Okay, so I can just click a buy stop here. It will trigger, the, it will place a buy stop for me. If not, I will just go here, pen, go to new orders, pending orders, buy stop orders. Okay, then I select the price that I want to place. Oops, wrong price. One point two. Okay. okay, just take note. I here I put a sell stop order, but my intention was to actually place a buy stop order. So one point two one two three nine. If I want to place a buy stop order above this price, you can't place it through. Okay, this only applies for stop order. Cause is the order will not be valid. So place a buy stop order. Okay. So you can see that the line here, my buy stop order is here. Okay, so there are many different scenarios where you can actually use the orders type to actually plan your strategy of capturing the market movement. Okay, so, but one thing to remember is always to place your stop loss order it will actually help you to control your losses. Okay, any more questions? Okay, uh, to answer the other the questions on are uh, any any other product other than other than uh, forex? Yes, we have many products. We have you can actually expand and you can see we have commodities. We have the indice list of indices. We also have cryptocurrency. Okay, so we have Ethereum, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ripple. Uh, I understand that there are people who are asking for Dogecoin because recently it actually has a lot of movement. Yeah, currently we do not have Dogecoin. Then we have the indices, and these are the shares that we have of the different market. SGH, Hong, Hong Kong, NAS, uh, New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ. Okay, funding in of account. Okay, basically to fund in account, you can actually fund in by, uh, you can actually fund in by a, a USD or SGD, both are fine. Okay, so uh, you can fund in in other foreign currencies also. But one thing to take note, MT5 account, the Philip MT5 account is USD based. Okay, so what I mean by USD based, all funds going into MT5 account will be auto converted to USD at the current rate. Okay, so funding of funding of account, yes, you can fund in USD, you can fund in Sing dollar also. And just take note that when funding in, it will actually be all the currencies that funding will be in USD. So if funding USD, your account will have USD. Funding by pay now. By fast transfer, the funds will actually be in your account within one hour. That's as far as we have. Within one hour, you will see your funds in your account. Okay, for crypto, uh, another question I have for crypto, can I cash out after selling or I need to convert to another crypto before cashing out in 
in sing dollar okay uh when you buy let's say when you buy ethereum okay and after that you sell sell your you close your position and sell ethereum you have your net p and l which will be in usd okay so when you want to you don't need to convert it to another cryptocurrency before you can cash out immediately you can actually withdraw the usd in sing dollars Okay, so there's no com there's no conversion to another cryptocurrency needed. Okay, any uh, do you all have any more questions? Okay, if not. Uh, if not, uh, we will be reaching the end of seminar. Okay, so on a okay, so if you are interested in opening an account, you can scan the QR code. Okay, and I will, will be your servicing account executive for your account. Okay, in and on top of that, I will actually uh provide you with a uh, free coaching. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. And we also have a WhatsApp broadcast where I actually send news or send uh, trades opportunities to clients. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for joining us for our live webinar on step-by-step -step guide to trading Forex. Okay, so this is, this is all the time we have for today. And a link of this recording will be made available in our follow-up email tomorrow. If you have any query on the webinar or would like to get started, you can simply reply to our email and we'll get in touch with you. This is Eddie Ng here signing off. Have a good evening ahead.